Hello everybody and welcome. I've not been watching my TV at all lately. Welcome to Coral Island. So how to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. Okay, so now sprouts, by the way, that's what I call my grandchildren. Hey, hey, if you don't like it, send me a letter. I just think of you all as my grandchildren too. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, back to business. You don't need a refrigerator for produce. What you need is a nice sturdy chest. Build a chest, it'll keep your produce fresh all year round. Don't forget a scarecrow. It'll protect your crops from crows. Okay. Oh, I figured all of that, to be fair. Coral stars. Passion and music bring these five girls together, but can they overcome the harsh world of sea pop? Uh, hello, producers. I'll be your representative in this show. Welcome to Coral Stars. Today, five girls will start their fight in the world of sea pop. They'll start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give all their all in stages, prepared to test their result practices. However, your participation will be also essential in realizing the dreams of these hopeful idols. Now, without further ado, Coral Stars, please introduce yourselves. Star in your eyes. Hello, we are Coral Stars. As you can see, they're very determined to debut. Leader, any word for our producers? Yes, producers, thank you for giving us a chance to showcase our skills. We'll not let you down and always perform our best. Very good. Next week, we have our first choreography lesson with C-pop veterans, so be sure to stay tuned, producers. Next week on Coral Stars. With that attitude, you should quit before wasting everyone's time. Coral Stars are now facing the harsh truth. Can they weather the storm? Okay, what's the weather tomorrow? Sunny. Okay. <laughs> I liked Coral Stars. That was quite fun. So, I need to water my carrots. And then I could really do with... um. We've got another about 10 days worth of spring left. So I could do just getting a whole bunch of crops for that. I'm not going to worry too much about... I spent a lot of time worrying about, like, fruit. I'm not going to worry about it for now. I think usually things like that, if they're not obvious, it means they're probably due to come soon, you know? Um, so the other thing that I can do now, apparently, is make sprinklers. And I think we've also got some skill points to use up. So let's have a little look. I have... Uh, yeah, okay. So stay hydrated. Chance for water source to stay watered the following day. But then I've also just picked up sprinklers. So I think I would like maybe for them to grow faster if possible. Yeah, grow faster for me. And I will try and make sprinklers. Spring I, I might regret that because sprinklers might be hard, but never mind. Let's have a look. Flash one, increase growth rate. Okay, so some of the shells can be used for the fertilizer stuff, which is quite nice. Silver kelp, bronze kelp, and scrap. So once I get to the silver kelp, I'll be able to make sprinklers. So that's definitely another reason to dive. We need to go to the museum as well. So Sam's shop and the museum, off we go. Good morning. We do our restocking every spring, makes it easier to remember. Spring, restocking, see? <laughs> okay. Oh no, that bug ran away. There are so many cats! And it makes me very happy. She loved the trash panda. Okay, so I ne I'm needing to find the museum and I'm struggling to find it because I'm geographically challenged, apparently. I wanted to have another look through the community centre as well, didn't I? There's a fox there too. Animal daycare. Doggy daycare. And the library. Haven't found I haven't found any books there. So Millie is the librarian, is that right? 
mobility scooters and things, which we found before. The Zen spot. The town, I imagine, is still an F. Yeah, still not doing great, is it? Oh look, actually, we've made some progress. Look, we're somewhere between an F and an E there. Probably because I put a few things in the museum and I healed some kelp. So yeah, we've made a bit of progress. That's awesome, right? Okay, gonna go to the museum and put a few things in there again. So my snail, my ground beetle, and my cricket can all go in there. Okay, so I don't know where they went. Um, I think I can see some snails in there now. Is that all the bugs in there? That looks like it's for fish. That looks like it's for sea creatures. And that looks like it's for bugs. So the cricket and stuff is probably in there somewhere too. Oh yeah, I can see someone in there, look. I can see some bugs, I can see some snails. I don't know where the cricket is. Well, that's gonna slowly get more full. It'd be lovely when I can get some butterflies and things in there too. That's gonna be really nice. So. Oh, maple seeds, wonderful. Sam's shop. Let's head in there. Oh, is it closed because it is Wednesday? What? When's it open? Closed on a Wednesday, is it? Oh, okay. There we on. 17th. It is Ling's birthday. Maybe I could try and give her something. Maybe some bronze kelp or something. That might be something she'd like, right? She might be at the lab. Maybe. Tell me on the map though. Yeah, okay. Let's try and... Give her a birthday present of bronze kelp. An oil drilling company has been looking into my lab's work lately and asked me about the state of our coral reefs. I think it could be the same company that's moving in this summer. Can I not give you a present? Oh, I'm sorry, not this summer. It's earlier than that. I think it's actually next week. Bufflefish, is it? Oh, I can't gift. All oh, right, okay. I'll try and gift her. Maybe one of these candies. Oh, I forgot it was even my birthday. Thank you. Okay, did that. And did that do anything? Let's have a look. Because I remembered a birthday. Yeah, wow, that's a whole heart. Birthdays are important, clearly. Good, good. When's the next birthday then? So it might not even be a case. Oh, there's a butterfly there. I say butterfly, I mean ladybug. Or ladybird, as they are called in the UK. But there are ladybugs in America, I think. Or well, we have different speeches. So the next one is... Who is that? 
dark t-shirt. Let's see. Walter. At the vineyard. So he will be on... 20th. Okay. I'll try and have something nice for him. Flower or something, I don't know. Mushroom. Hey Mark, people here seem to like spring weather. They mention it a lot. So if I, if I gave you a gift, a maple seed, none of these for me. Doesn't like those, okay. What about a bug? What about a violet? I'll give you a flower. I'm not allowed to give you that, am I? Okay. So I could make oil out of the canola. I could make. Well, maybe even the canola would be good. Don't know. I'll put my ladybug in the museum if I can. If I'm allowed in. Am I allowed in? Come on, you know you want to let me. You know you want to let me in. This is like a bronze one I got as well. Nice. Maybe it is possible to find bronze coconuts. Or maybe that would count as a fruit. I don't know. Right, well, since I can't go to Sam's shop because it's a Wednesday. I'm going to get Ben the violets. Yippee, thanks. So Ben liked that. So how much of an effect did that have on Ben? I can't even find him. It's Scott. Ben that had like basically no effect. He was very happy to have like a gift, but it basically had no effect. So that's interesting. So maybe I need to give them more quality stuff. I, I, I don't know really. Gotcha. Silk moth. Nice. I'll keep that, like every few bugs I get, I'll take them down to the museum. I see no reason otherwise. Maybe I could chat to the person on the ranch. Maybe we could talk about animals or something. I probably need to... Oh yeah, I think I need to go and get like, um, I need to save up money again. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I need to get the carpenter to build me a chicken pan. That's what it is. But there's no point in worrying too much about things and trying really hard to get everything. Uh, maybe I could go to the mines. That might be a good thing to do today. If I put everything away in my chest. I'm like, it's either the mines or going diving again. Part of me thinks maybe diving again would actually be better in a way. I don't know. Whatever I do, I don't I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need the hove. Don't need all that trash. And I don't really need the kelp on me for it. So what do I think? Di diving is good. I don't have a ton of time actually, so yeah, let's do a little little bit of diving. Just with the rest of my rest of my stamina for the day can just be spent on that. 
But I do want to try and get down a bit further in the mine so I can try and get silver as well. The diving is cool. Alright, so we've got loads of kelp today. But to be honest, it's the money that's more the issue for me at the moment. So if I can harvest any cool things, that would be great. Okay, so it looks like we're up to here with our cleaning job. Like, I do like to keep the place clean. I like to start at the beginning and try and work out if there's any been any sort of respawns of litter and things. And then just keep on going. I enjoy, like, tidying it all up. The coffers that I get are really useful because it means that I can, like, probably donate something to the museum at the same time. Which is fantastic. really hoping that I'll be able to get another one of these guys uh, unlocked. That would be quite nice. But like I say, if I get to the end of the day and there's like, uh, there's like stamina left, then there's clearly need to do some mining or some diving or some clearing of my land so like I, I don't really want to end the day unless I've used all of that stamina up for something useful there we are found another one so that's number six out of 20 I need to get rid of these they'll be in the way This seabed is looking so much nicer. Yeah, it is gorgeous over there as well. Oh, let's watch the thing do its thing. Beep pop. Shell down there to harvest. A Mediterranean scallop. That's new. I know there is a scallop required by the goddess, I can't remember what it was. So I shall be popping up there to double check. I know it was like a blue, there was a blue thing, there was a purple anemone sort of looking thing. There was some kind of scallop. But it's nice because I've got those fast travel points, so it's really cool that I can just use those each time. It's getting late, we need to leave soon. Yeah, I think you're right there. I think you're very right there, so I'm going to get the anchor over here and we're going to head out and I'll start from here next time. I might have a little scoot around the uh, initial area because sometimes that's nice, you know, just make sure that things haven't gotten too grubby around there. But I do like that you can immediately go back to the farm. I could even go to the Lake Temple quickly, check on whether a Mediterranean doofa, and th I think this is probably why <laughs> these are the first ones to have opened up. It's a calico scallop, so... An Eastern oyster. I remember the blue and the purple. Calico and Eastern. And salt. Probably still forget, but... I love that it only takes a couple of seconds to double check. So I can... 
uh, maybe actually that muscle should go to the museum. Because I've sold a lot of stuff that probably should be going to the museum. I've also got a geode that could go to the blacksmith tomorrow. A mysterious coffer. Wow. There's some really cool things. Got a lot more kelp as well, but I don't really need that yet because, well, I don't know. How is that doing? I've got the kelp essence. One bronze kelp essence. <laughs> I see. It's going to take a while, isn't it? So let's maybe get some glass and get the rest of the kelp. And pop that in the extractor. Can I make two? No, I can't make two. Because of the glass. But if I could queue two up, that would be ideal. Let's see if it, if it can queue things. I know the smelter can queue things up. Yes, it can indeed. So, yeah, it's getting late and I need to go to bed. I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing better at using my time up nowadays. Right, go to bed. New craftables, recycling machine. So I can actually craft the recycling machine now. Relationship has increased with, with Ling. Yay, new day. Okay, anything on the TV? How to be a farmer? And it's still telling us about refrigerators and scarecrows. Okay, lovely. It's just so fantastically great. Okay, no one wants to tell me anything particularly today. Um, it looks like we are about one day away from having, though, if I get my washing can back out, don't I? And hopefully Sam will be open again today. So I want to go to the blacksmith if I can. Um, I want to get more seeds. Take that moth to the museum. That oyster. But only one. Anything else that I picked up around here? I don't know if the flowers can go or anything like that. I don't think they can. I think it's sea creatures, bugs. Fish. I haven't done any fishing yet, by the way. And then uh, all of the sort of collectibles. Actually, I want to go see Sam. I actually want to go this way. Oh, I was looking for my watering can, wasn't I? Duh. For I will not leave until my waters are done. Till my crops are watered. Because tomorrow that means that I will be getting some cool reward. And there's every possibility that um, it'll open up maybe the next thing that I need to collect for as well. And there's every possibility that it might even uh, give me a new fast travel point. All of which would be super, super useful. So yeah, I definitely want to put more things in the museum. Um, I want to be really proactive with it. Hi. Alice, did you just have your morning walk too? I like how quiet it is in the morning, right before everyone wakes up. It's just you and the birds. It is indeed. Okay, let's pop some of these in then. So the silk moth can go in. However... All of these scallops and oysters and things don't go in. Okay, well, these can be sold. Oh, I like that there's butterflies in the dome now. That's nice. So I don't know what this is all about then. What does it say? 
I mean, maybe there's something like river fish or sea fish or something. I really couldn't tell you. Anyway, let's head to the blacksmith and uh, go and open all these chests. I don't even know if I've got all the chests with me. I think I've got most of them though. Hey, Waku. I'm too lazy to do groceries sometimes. I just eat what we have. If not, I go to the tavern and keep some in the fridge. You probably like food then. My binoculars are no use around here. There isn't anything mysterious to look at. Everything's easy to spot. So you might like bugs and things. Might be good to give them as presents actually. Just harvested some fresh herbs from Dinda's garden. I want to give you some violets. Yeah. Nice, thanks. Right, and then I want to see if that is something that you like or don't like or like, or like what. So Yoko, neither loves nor dislikes violets. Does Ling particularly like that? Yeah. So I found a thing that Ling really likes, and that's why, and I happened to give it to her on her birthday. So that's why that happened. Oh no, come back. Okay. I'll win them all. I am getting better with the bug catching by a long shot, but... Uh, Can't win them all. So where was I going? What was I doing? I was going to the blacksmith and now I'm nowhere near the blacksmith. I've run all the way around away from the blacksmith. So yeah, well done, Sheila. Getting uh, confused by chasing butterflies. Do you like oysters? Yippee, thanks. Ah, I could have sold that. A tiger, swallowtail, butterfly. That is new. That could go in the museum. Hello. There's, there's this pink tree next to the hot spring. Do you know what that is? Cherry, maybe? Probably. That might be a clue. There's a pink tree next to the hot spring. Is it a cherry tree? That there maybe? Looks a bit like a cherry tree. I can't get to it though. Hey, you were showing green, okay? It's all lies when it comes to catching these butterflies, isn't it? Also, I'm never getting to the blacksmith on time if I don't keep going. Um, that is a pink tree. I don't think that's a cherry tree, though. Outside the school, but I don't need to be outside the school. I need to be outside the blacksmiths. I've got all of these coffers to open, and there'll probably be things that I can put in the museum as well, actually. Okay. Along with my butterfly, I caught. I'm trying to persuade some of my cousins to expand the inn's business. Maybe they could add karaoke, let people choose songs and sing along. They keep turning me down. Didn't see the potential, I guess. Process coffers? Mysterious coffer, I want to know. A broken sundial artifact. Four ornate coffers. Glass. Silver kelp, nice. Glass. Glass. Okay. Earth geode. Diorite gem. That might be a museum-y thing. 
I'll see. I'll go to the head to the museum. I'll see what I can uh, unearth. We're really just waiting for these carrots at this point. Also trying to ship high quality produce, but that's going to be, I think that's going to be a very long term thing, getting the local produce, produce back in the shop. Okay. Gotcha. Pus moth. Surprisingly fluffy. So I've got a couple of butterflies I can put in and some new artifacts. Wonderful. Let's pop them in. So, uh, yes, the diorite can go. And the sundial. And the two moths. Maybe if we do this. Yeah, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. The museum we have now is... It works. But can you imagine something bigger, something more extravagant? Already pretty good. Imagine this, Sheila. Okay, so what would it be like? It's already pretty huge. We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of the island. Oh, so we would have an aquatic creatures thing. Maybe I should save them up. And a fossil place? And another section where we can look at all the fossils we've dug up. I didn't even know I could dig fossils. We have a bigger and better section for the ancient artifacts. Doesn't that sound exciting? That sounds really cool, isn't it? But there's only one big problem though. The town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum, at least not yet. So, what if we raise the money to build it? By that, I mean I'm going to start a Pickstarter campaign. <laughs> okay. Do you know what a Pickstarter is? I know what it is. I just know... Okay, like, I'm just going to ask him to explain. Crowdfunding platform. We put our project online and people can help fund it. In return, we give them something from the project as a token of appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway. I'm almost ready to launch the campaign, but there are a few things I need help with. Okay. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that already have something significant to show. Something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project. If I show the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. Yeah, because there's never a scammy Pickstarter. <laughs> now, my dear, hardworking Sheilap, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you've brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of my museum yesterday and it just looked empty. No one's going to help us if all we show them is an empty museum. But if you were to donate more items, see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. That's right, the museum won't look so empty and we can convince more people to help fund our project. Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to upload to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint, then I'll ask Millie to write something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I should get Lily to make us a website. Look at that. It's all coming together. Now go go forth, Sheila. Collect more items so we can launch our Pickstarter campaign. Yay! I will get so many more bugs. So many more things. Yay! So, yeah, we need to get more things for the museum. Only 50, though, and we've got, like, quite a few already out of that. So I go to my quest section. Oh, I didn't claim my reward apparently for that one. Lovely. So 12 out of, oh, so it seems like I was supposed to be getting like 10 
And I got my 10, so now I've done 12 out of 50, so we need to get to 50. Fine. That one has a good reward for it. And healing the coral sites is important. We've done loads of stuff, actually. Loads and loads. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's super cool. Now, do I go do more diving? That's the question. Being a first time farmer must be challenging. That's a lot to get used to, huh? Yeah. There's another one of those pus moths. Hey, you come back here. Once they've flown away, you have no chance, do you? A tiger, swallowtail butterfly. We've already donated one of those, so I imagine I can start selling or gifting those to people. Yeah, there's a daffodil there. I may as well pick these things up that are around the place. I'm going to actually get rid of this. Oh, I can't get rid of that, apparently. But I can investigate it. But nothing happens when I click on it. Okay, fine. Can't investigate it then, apparently. I feel like talking to people in this is maybe more to get them to tell me the sorts of things that they like. Oh no. Oh, come on. That's super annoying. Sometimes it's like I, I turn around weird when I swing at the... Oh. They're suddenly facing the wrong way. And it all just goes wrong from there, really. Oh, some wasabi. That's totally useful. I don't know if there's maybe cherry trees around and I'm just like missing them somehow. There's different kinds of armor and weapons you can get, either by finding or buying them from merchants. That's really cool. Literally, like, it was showing, like, a green colour, but didn't then pick up when I swung the net at it. So it's still, still a little bit of a... a one to do, but I, I think it's kind of okay because I probably need to get back to my farm, don't I, at this point? So what's down here? Is that just the ranch? And then we're down to my house, aren't we? Just trying to have a look around to make sure that I'm not that's sort of missing a load of stuff. The cavern, the farm. Was good, wasn't it? I've been up here in a while, so I want to check this place out. There's a chest up here. I did not open with a load of candy in them. Yay! So that will open when two of the giants are freed. Okay. 
But when I'm clicking on the, the trees, a lot of them just saying a sacred site and they're not really like allowing me to uh, free the giants. So I'm wondering what that's all about. And there's a stranger and the chieftain beyond, probably beyond um, that open gate. So maybe that would be the chieftain and maybe another giant or something. Not sure. Do have a lot of um, stamina and not a ton of time. So I feel like that might be a good uh, time to clear things out. Let's do that. Put a couple of things away. I get my pickaxe and not my hoe, my axe out. And we'll use that to cut down a few trees. Lovely. This is very helpful. I like that there's no durability on tools and that you don't have to refrigerate produce. I'm kind of like, I think um, games at the moment are trying to add things like that in to make things like, try and make things more interesting, but I don't feel that it makes it more interesting. I just feel it makes it more annoying. <laughs> Crash down. I don't mind leaving some of the trees, to be honest. It's kind of nice to have a few trees around and to have grass and things in the spaces that are not being used, but... I like to get rid of the trash as well. But I also like enough room to walk around because it gets very annoying very fast if you don't have that. So I'm kind of feeling like um, it might be good to go down in the caverns a little bit lo a bit more as well. Like work on that a little bit. Uh, so I can maybe try and get like a chicken coop or something together. Is my inventory too full? Yeah. I've got some wild seeds that I can plant. Nice. I don't know. I've got so much junk now. I might need another chest soon. Or just to try and maybe make the chests that I've got work for me a bit better and make them a bit more compacted. Because I think uh, I've got things in chests that are the wrong chest at the moment. Okay. Uh time is it? Oh, we're getting close to midnight now, so I think I might have run out of time to do much more on my farm there. So I think we're going to say goodbye, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. Let's see if we got any money. I don't know if we did. Ooh, we got a kill now from the foraging. Interesting. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.